And at that time, I felt actually Nitai, actually Gora, and Nitai Gora need service and darshan because you know it's not love is not one way, two way. Should be devotee, should be Ishtadeva, both relationship, both respiration, both service needed. So I feel Mahaprabhu desire to move from top of hill to down to 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 have darshan. You know, he he wants to uh, have darshan of many devotees. He wants to give more mercy to other devotees. Yeah. And then Nitai come and also Nitai want to, you know, Nitai's face is like, uh, you know, very pleasing, very merciful, very, you know, actually Nitya Ananda. Nitai's eyes very big, like smiling. And uh, this, this yesterday Kartik Burata was finished. And Nitai Baba was thinking, oh, Nitai Gora was there, so should be Nagara Sankirtan. So in this Kartik time, Nitai Baba decided after Mongolatic, Nitai Gora should you know, uh, do Nagara Sankirtan with other devotees. And uh, we also, we went every day, maybe, I don't know, 30 minutes, Nagara Sankirtan. And then I was kind of remembering, you know, Mahaprabhu time. Yeah. You know, Sometimes they are do nighttime kirtan, sometimes do you know daytime kirtan, you know, and uh, so Nitai Gora need to see Nitai Gora need to give mercy to other other people. So we fail to you know, and then uh, this and also we carried the Goparaditi, and then devotee feel more relationship with Diti. But, you know, because, you know, some, you know, I also carry Gopal Diti, Nitai's Diti was carried, you know, and no, Gora's Diti carry Nitai Baba and Nitanan Diti sometimes as a devotee. So, you know, Diti is coming and uh, we're very close and we feel some relationship, intimate relationship. And how is the Prashad there? Uh... <laughs> Prashad is, you know, oh my God, Prashad is so nice. Uh, I think they offer, I don't know how many times, maybe three, four times offer Prasada. Yeah. And then Prasada is very simple, you know, I also help to cut something and uh, in Nitai Baba is very, in Nitai Baba I was cooking, also some other Mataji was cooking. And the Gora Chandra was surprised because Gora Chandra was after five years, you know, after five years he visited. So many children become grown up and some children is so, so, uh, what do you say, change a lot. Have many, you know, much devotion to Sabu, Radha, Patita, Pavana, Nitai Gora. Uh, so many children changed. We felt also, you know, their spontaneous love for deities. So we also inspired by, you know, by seeing. And also, we don't know, but, uh, you know, if devotee from Vrindavan visiting Jamadaha temple, also they may inspire. We are not power, but some other, you know, say that kind of bring up and some kind of flavor or some feeling, maybe something, you know, devotee may bring. A special flight going from for Jamda. And also now, special flight is going to Jamdaha. Uh, Gurudev is saying before it takes two days trip. And uh, they took train maybe 30 hours. And this live prayer says it takes 30 hours before, like, uh, you know, he, she went to maybe 2009 with Guru Dev. At that time, he, she, she told me it takes, uh, you know, 30 hours. But uh, this time from Delhi to just a two hour flight. Wow. And then uh, very close, you know, very near. We, we live here. Six, six, 
a.m. probably, and then we reach maybe three wow. afternoon. My God. Yeah, seven, eight, nine, maybe nine, nine hours all together. And uh, devotee also very happy. We also very happy. And uh, I think, you know, they need, uh, we need association. Yes. And then this kind of, policy, this kind of uh, association and uh, something happening in uh, both in Raven and uh, Radha I, I don't know, but the Nitai, Nitai Baba said, Radha Patta Baba is very pleasing with you because <laughs> people come from Vrindavan. So, some or other, you know, very much pleasing the deity. Nitai Baba told me. And uh, we felt also, you know, we felt like Radha Patta Pavana is Radha Mohan. For me, for me, Radha Mohan. And uh, so, actually, you know, very inspiring because we say Radha Radha, people also say Radha Radha. Sometimes, you know, just we, they, they saw us, they say Radha Radha. <laughs> <laughs> My God, in village. Yes. This, this is very inspiring, you know. Oh, this is Vrindavan or not? Some people say, oh, this is Gupta Vrindavan, you know, hidden Vrindavan. I think, you know, Sadhu Maharaj, you know, our Guru Dev's grandmother desiring, you know, this. Wow. I, you know, she desired to be Jamudaha is like Vrindavan. And Ooh. I'm asking to Guru Dev, why your grandfather married with, you know, like kind of village lady? Because, you know, king could marry any lady, you know? Possibility is there. So, and then, Sadhu Maharaj said, Guru Dev said, this great grandfather arranged grandfather marriage. And uh, grand, great grandfather think thought if too too much educated lady or too much high class lady, it may be little be independent or you know some ego. But if lady come from village, that may be very innocent and uh, may have you know much kind of feeling and service attitude. So anyway, great grandfather decided to marry, you know, you know he select uh, Guru Dev's grandmother. And uh, even now, so many countries, you know, country, a, a kind of field is there. Even still now, Guru is helping to, you know, a, a cultivate field. We are amazed. And some rich person could use, you know, kind of tractor, in, you know, kind of machine. But the poor village people, they don't have any money to do this. So this, just they using bull to, to, to cultivate the land. And uh, Gora Chandra said, eight years ago, no electricity. But now so much developing. And uh, many new houses was there, and uh, many development is also there. And uh, so I felt uh, the mercy of you know grandmother, Devi Saraswati, Saraswati Devi, Rani, you know Saraswati Devi is is still going on. So one devoted desire to help you know many people, and uh, Nitai Baba was so dedicated. He's very humble, you know. He was like uh, very uh, how to say selfless service, always giving to devotee and the people. And uh, we we met policeman. Sometimes you know, one day policeman called me, and then I'm asking, is there something problem? No, I just visiting. If 
If you have any problem, call me. I'm ready to help you. You know, like, you know, we are surprised. And uh, Nitai Baba was so nicely, you know, make relationship with other people, including, you know, policemen or including, you know, many uh, 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 villagers. And uh, we also, we, we run, actually. And uh, mm -hmm. yesterday, no, day before yesterday, we visiting four devotees' place. We did not know this, but Nitai Baba said, you know, let us go to Gunjicha Mandir. What? Gunjicha Mandir? Yes, devotees' house is Gunjicha Mandir. Because they have Jagannatha, you know, every year they bring the deity to this devoted house. So we went, but uh, be, between Gundicha Mandir also, after Gundicha Mandir, we, we went to three houses. Every house, they're serving chai, they're serving, you know, you know sweets or, you know, some snacks. And uh, we felt, you know, their love and uh, their they would like to serve devotees. So this this feeling, this impress us. And also Nitai Baba's, you know, uh, ability to, to help and uh, cultivate people. So unfortunately, we don't speak Hindi. Most of the people, they don't speak English. So we don't, we could not talk so much, but uh, we felt their feeling. And uh, this uh, inspiration, you know, come to us. And uh, I also forget, you know, when we, we visit, maybe you remember, we visited like 35 years ago, you know, or 30 years ago. Like uh, we we also, we saw village life. Sometimes Navati, we, yeah. we went to Diva and base. Sometimes we, we went to well and bring the water and then we bathe it. And the cooking is, is, is like, uh, you know, they made cooking table by, by, by a clay. Mm -hmm. And even now still they are using some kind of cow down, sometimes wood. But most of the devotees now using like gas. But I just remember, oh my God, this is the old style of cooking. Mm -hmm. And uh, that cooking was, you know, good. And uh, Jamadaha rice is so good. Everything good and rice is good. So, and uh, Nitai Baba also, we are requesting, you know, more devotee should visit Jamadaha. Mm -hmm. Then both may inspire them each other that's my feeling sorry I thank you about. thank you for sharing it is so nice to hear also because in that place Gurdish grandmother was you know sharing her love she came from that city also she received so much love and somehow like you said Nitai Goranga they want to share this feeling of selfless service in the mood of the mandari so why you know it's not it's not uh, happening it's happening from the small city is villages and then it comes to us isn't it we get inspired by this pure living and simple you know simplicity in devotion so i also pray that i can go there i want to go there one day and now it is so much shorter only one day travel Yes, and, uh, I, and also I told Guru Dev, actually, I feel, you know, I'm indebted to all our spiritual parampara. Not only that, I'm indebted to your, your blood, you know, parampara. Uh, yes. You know, you know, your father, mother, grandfather, grandmother, all your generation, we are indebted to you, you know, indebted to your, your kind of, your ancestor. Of also, course, they're all Vaishnavas. Yeah, 
Oh, I also feel, you know, my also ancestor because, you know, by the grace I had born this, this, you know, and I got this opportunity by the mercy of Radha Mohan. So, you know, we felt kind of appreciation. Our parampara. Yes, deep feelings come because you you came to the root, to the root of the mother, <laughs> mother's <Yeah>. place. <laughs> And now Nitai Gora also, you know, they are, uh, how do you say, spreading together. And uh, it was a sweet Leela to hear how Mahaprabhu was kind of tried to be stolen. <laughs> but then he just come uh, closer and he is also coming together with Nitai. Thank you for sharing. And uh, you must have made deep impressions. And also Gurudev is happy when all devotees know and help this Jamata, Jamdaha, especially Gora Chandra also. Thank you. And I have to say, you know, Gora Chandra did so many seva in Jamdaha. You know, he made Goshara house, he made water, you know, on the roof, and uh, he did many service. So we have to appreciate Gora Chandra's seva also. That's I want to add. Oh. He brings a Radha Patita Pavana closer to us because for him it is the, uh, his Ishtadev and Gurudev was blessing him and they like this. He got all the blessings in his life. He has told so many times how blessed he feels that he took on the service and Gurudev and all the devotees so happy to see how much he is putting his energy in there and then all of a sudden Radharani wants to send him to uh, Japan now. <laughs> so after so many years he come back, it must have been a big impression and a big feeling coming up in his heart. Yes. So Raza Madhuri was also with him. She saw for the first time. Yes. Wow. Very nice. So I would like to continue with uh, Narottam Das Thakur, if you allow me. We sure. have... 30 sure. more minutes. So that is a very nice connection we could hear about how Nitai Goranga, they are present. They are present now. They are not gone. They are not from 500 or 600 years ago. But they arrange that they can be perceived and give mercy through their taka, their deity form. And also Narottam Das Thakur had this order by uh, Lokanath Goswami part that he had to establish deity worship. In a dream, Sri Gauda Sunda told Sri Thakur Mahashai, In the past, I assumed the metal form of a deity and it is right in, our, in your sight in the petty born barn of the householder named Sri Vipradas. No one dares to go there out of fear of snakes. Just go there and bring me from there to reveal my service. So he did that. And he, he was not afraid of the snakes. The snakes are always uh, also representative of Ananta. Shesh, Nag of Vishnu. So sometimes we hear these stories about the great Takujis or, you know, even saints who are living together with uh, snakes or they also are uh, like uh, representatives of Ananta Shesh. And that's why Nitai is showing also where to get the mercy and where the Takujis, the deities were hidden. After this, the Lord ordered him also to have five more deities manufactured and their services revealed. That is also important point, how to serve the Taku, how to, you know, understand their special personal identity. We have also often heard that how Mungaraj Mandir, good if your grandfather also revealed the services, of Radha Mohan because they are there in the meeting point 
and your grandfather, your great grandfather, your or great grandfather, yes, Raghunath Singh, he had this vision that this is where Radha and Mohan are meeting after Krishna comes from the cow herding. This is a special meeting place, and all deities they have uh, special indications. What is their service and how they should be worshipped or how they should be understood? What is the speciality of Radha Mohan? There are so many levels, and it's always so auspicious to hear about the background because these deities they were installed by someone who saw their you know spiritual identity not only the forms or the statues as themselves but this is Radha Mohan in the eternal Leela meeting there in Vrindavan. Srila Thakur Mahashai woke up and spent the rest of the night doing Sankatan and great ecstatic love. Then after performing his morning duties, he took everyone along to the petty barn. That is the place like an old cow barn. Srila Thakur Mahashai opened the gate of the barn and when he saw the Supreme Lord there, he stretched out his hand and Shigora Sundara jumped into his lap with the speed of lightning. Srila Thakur Mahashai came to his own house, seated Shigora Sundara with his Priyaji, Vishnu Priya Devi, on a throne and began to glorify Shigoda with his wonderful self-composed songs. On Shigoda Sundara's order, he had five more deities manufactured along with their consorts, and he had set the date for the installation of the six deities on the next full moon in Falgun in March. This installation became famous as the historical and unrivaled Keturi Mahotsava. Just when I read this, I feel what you have said is so true. Jainanda Maharaja, you say when Nitai and Goranga are there, they need to have uh, devotees who are doing service. So whenever there's Takujis, whenever they appear, they want to see devotees, they want to give mercy, they want to exchange, right? So this is also a sign that uh, exchange will increase. So that is a that is an inspiration when we have a, a temple or a meeting place or in our homes where we have our deities. We are they don't like to be alone. They want to share their feelings, their mercy, and they have the capacity. They are alive to really uh, bless the devotees. So we could also feel, Gurudev, that what happened now in Jamdaha and Nitai is coming, that some more, you know, bigger activities and devotional flow will be in Jamdaha. And it seems to be also that your grandmother is blessing us, Gurudev. She is making it available through you also because you are so proud of your grandfather and your grandmother. You're not only proud, you have this loving feelings, how much bhakti can be attained, how much prema is available for us when we serve this you know, place where Goranga Mahaprabhu was also uh, passing through on his way to Vrindavan. Chi Gaura Sundara, uh, Gauranga, uh, Gaura Chandra, we were just... Uh, glorifying your Jamdaha village and how it has developed and how we are very happy that you took on the service single-handedly maybe eight years ago and how everything is so auspicious now and how you were so happy to be there first time after many years again. You would like to share some feelings? Gorachanna? 
Is he not there? I saw him. He's sitting there. Oh, you have some problem with your voice, huh? No. Ah, oh, that's... A, oh, I, sorry. I mistook. I mistook. Sorry, sorry. It was my mistake. So, Srila Thakur Mahashai came to his own house, seated Shigoda Sunna with his Priyaji on the throne, and began to glorify Shigoda with his wonderful self-composed songs. And then he got ready for the Mahotsava. And that was a special Mahotsava because all the great associates, all the great devotees of Shishin, Nitai Goranga and Advaita, along with all the other great Vaishnavas arrived from Bengal at the in, on the invitation of Srinivas Acharya and Srila Narottam to attend the great Mahotsava. This is known from the scriptures like Bhakti Ratnakar and Sri Narottama Vilas. On the day preceding the full moon day, Sri Sri Janavama Takurani, the consort of Sri Sri Nityananda, made her auspicious arrival in Keturi in the company of all her associates. And they performed a very great, wonderful kirtan. And on the full moon of Falgun, Srinivas Acharya Prabhu performed the great Abhishek of the six deities on the order of Shishi Janavama and conformed the rules laid down in the Goswami's books. The names that Sriman Mahaprabhu had given to the deities in Narata. Tom uh, dreams were revealed through, during the Abhishek, Goranga, Balabi Kanta, Shri Braja Mohan, Shri Krishna, Shri Radha Kanta, and Shri Radha Raman. At the end of the Abhishek, the six deities with their consorts were decorated with different ornaments and then placed on the throne. We could also see here, Gurudev, that Nitai is, you know, Ananga Manjari, and she makes it possible, you know, Nitai and Janava, they make it possible also that those devotees get the blessings of all, you know, different aspects of Radha Mohan in the different deity forms. Goranga and Radha Vallabha and Radha Raman. So this is also a deeper understanding of Guru Tattva because as we know, then when um, the living entity, when we worship the Supreme Lord, that is one thing. But after many, many times, sometimes even lifetimes, when we come into the shelter of Nitai, of Ananga Manjari, that is where we can start to develop our Swarup our feelings of our relation that we have to Radha Mohan and how we want to serve. So we are lucky it was not so far away. It is not far and long ago. And Janava Ma herself was cooking for all of them and they had one of the most ecstatic meeting that is recorded after the disappearance of Nitai and Goranga. And so much so that Srila Thakur Mahashai decorated all the assembled associates of Shigoda with prashadi garlands and sandalwood pulp. That is also like beautiful how to exchange and how to uh, worship the, all the associates, all the Vaishnavas. We can also see that in Mungeraj Mandir, there is a great tradition to always invite the Vaishnavas to serve them prasad and be very respectful. I, for myself, I had a lot, big lack of this, like a very superficial understanding and realization. But also by the mercy of our dear Gurudev, I could learn more, or I am still learning more how to be more personal, more loving, and more serving to all the Vaishnavas. And thus, a current ambrosial Sankirtanan flavor was being showered with ragas 
and Raginis played by Vaishnavas, which inundated everyone's heart with a flood of rasa. So these Vaishnavas who were playing, they already were, you know, very much Rasika Vaishnavas. And then everyone who could hear this Kirtan, they were getting more feelings and going more deeper. And so what happened? The three lords, Sri Gauranga, Sri Nityananda and Advaita, along with Srivas, Gadada and others appeared before everyone and began to dance. Everyone's hearts and minds were immersed in an ocean of Prema Ras. So that is actually the power of Panchatattva, of worshipping Gora and Nitai, that we can also develop ourselves this desire to go into Prema Ras, not only into ordinary bhakti in a way that to worship the lord and i remember gurudev once i don't know maybe i told it before but it will keep in my heart as a good hint that you give to me i wanted to explain who is advaita acharya and i started to try to philosophically go into you know don dual and dvaita and advaita but then you stopped me and you said don't Try to be so philosophical about it. Before he was worshipping God, and now he is worshipping love. And that is actually the essence of why Goranga came and distributed all of this Prema Ras. Because now Shrimati Radhika is present. She is with her Mohan, and she is teaching all of us how to become Dasis, how to take full shelter of this Prema Ras and even Mohan is listening and making her the Prema Guru of his heart. And this, you know, is the greatness of Nitai and Goranga's appearance in this beautiful, blessed Kali Yuga, we could say. And then everyone's heart and minds were Im immersed in an ocean of Prema Ras. What is the Prema Ras? Prema Ras is that feelings of divine love that will be nourished by the mercy of Shimati Radhika's Dasis. That is the special Prema Ras, this Unata Uchvala Ras that Mahaprabhu came to give and that was distributed more and more and still is distributed into the deep you know, Kali Yuga that we are experiencing experiencing right now. But we are so blessed that still in these times where there's so much confusion, what is, uh, you know, the right thing to do and what is uh, bhakti and nobody speaks so much about Shumati Radhika. But as, as we have heard and as we always um, experience, it is a time right now where Shimati Radhika's grace is opening to all the living entity and where she has, you know, like an open heart to embrace also all her Darcy's back. Because we are, we are, how do you say, we dare to leave the institutionalized uh, things that we were doing and that we have been doing maybe for many lifetimes. We dare to forget that we should do this or should do that. We have no more fear about the Guru Tattva. We understand that a Guru Tattva is Akanda. We don't have to think that any kind of, you know, how do you say, misinterpretation would uh, misguide me. Because before that, before now, this uh, <coughs> Raga Bhakti was misunderstood and not maybe taught in the same way as it is today. So we cannot be thankful enough that this Prema Ras is available and there is also some fearlessness and some big greed to receive it. So they were falling on the ground, weeping and falling into a swoon. When the swoon broke, Srinivasacharya, Naratam and Shamananda began to sing holy songs. 
and sword colored powder with everyone. In this way, they passed the day until the evening time when the Abhishek started. They spent the night in the rapture of Sankatan, and the following day, Sri Janavima personally began to cook for the newly installed deities and later distribute the prashad to the assembled Vaishnavas. I like this. I like this so much, Gurudev, to hear how they all did Sankatan together, how they cooked together, how Janava cooked. Janava Ma cooked for all of them because we are in the Nityananda line. So I love to hear about this. I love to meditate on how, you know, Janava Ma was blessing them all with her cooking and with her guidance because she gave the guidance to unite all the Vaishnavas. So Niti is also a good cook. <laughs> Stop Today it. she make big meal for the whole company, and we have some uh, 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 what is it workaways in the temple. So she make for the group a bigger prasad, <laughs> like Janava must. <laughs> oh, he is so nice, Gurudev. Look how nice he is. Yeah, it's beautiful and sharing prashad to know and to understand the deep meaning of prashad so great yeah. daddy <laughs> ananda hey. yeah, Rade Rade? I think first time. Rade Rade? Why? Now connection is not though. Yeah, the, the connection is not good. Maybe I changed the internet. Now we, we can, we can uh, hear only Sunit is not there. Yeah, no, no. Huh? Ah, probably from Sunit. Ah, Sunit is probably. Now that is there. Italian. Kirtan. Kirtan. Yeah, more 10 minutes for the do you have a question? Yes, she she said like um like the deep meaning of um prasadam, the importance of the deep meaning of prasadam, and I wanted to ask like what is the deep meaning of prasadam, like Maharaj <laughs> Vinay. So, uh, uh, Prasad is asking. Prasad, his name is Prasad. Yes, so, so his name is Prasada. <coughs> so, what the uh, importance of Prasada? Why Suniti Didi explain Prasad is very important? And so, Gurudev asking me to explain. So Suniti Didi is not here now, so I try to explain a little bit. Because prasada means uh, mercy. So what kind of mercy? Because Radha Mohan taste, actually Mohan taste, then Radhika taste, then Manjari taste. So this prasada is Lada Mohan Adat. Oh, Sunit is coming. No. So Lada Mohan's Adaramurita is included. And uh, so therefore so merciful. And also loving exchange, ordinary dealing. If mother is there, mother wants to feed children. Or mother want to feed friend, 
other people. Say some guest come naturally give to distribute food. This is a kind of loving exchange, especially in India, especially in Brindaban. We visit some house, always something coming, some, something to drink, something to eat is coming. So when I first come to Mungen Raj Mandir, then Gurudev asking us, so please take prasada. But uh, at that time, I don't have enough time to take prasada. Then Gurudev said, why, why you are not give, give me mercy? Why you don't take prasada? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't understand. But uh, this is loving expression. And also, you know, he want to distribute love as a token of prasada, the food. So therefore, food is representing love. So therefore, in Chaitanya Lira, always prasad distribution is, description is there. One Japanese professor translates Chaitanya Charitamrita, and he cut all description of prasad. Because he's thinking, oh, prasad distribution is not a philosophy, so better to, better to cut it. I shocked lead to his translation. So dry, you know, cutting all description of prasada means no premarasa, no fee. No mercy. Huh? No mercy. So therefore, this prasada represents mercy and loving feeling and uh, exchange of love. So especially, so Guru Dev, whoever come to Guru Dev's place, so please take prasada. Please eat. This atmosphere is made by love of Radha Mohan. So that is one small explanation of prasada. Maybe Guru Dev could share more. Huh? Why we work? What, what is the reason of work? For money. Why we need money? Food. One is the food, and one is without working, doing no effort uh, to get the without cooking, two hours cooking, all is free. I have a full time, and I eat without no efforts. Is not much material way if you see the much. Yes. How much you have to arrange for your food? Mm. And I refuse to receive that mercy by doing nothing. I get the mercy, and my life is changing by this eating. If not, then I am eating, but I don't know what to eat and not eat. Garbage eating. Now I protect myself with garbage eating and I take the mercy through the prasad. Everything we receive like this is not mercy, he has mercy. Mercy is a divine and also day-to-day -day life events. Yeah, actually, Guru Guru Dev. When I start living in Buraja, 2013, at that time we cook by, by ourselves. It's very not easy. Bring whole bottle we bring by by diksha from where? Huh? From market to where? To to my our house in Jiba. 
Acha. Yes. Yes. And then also gas. Also, we bring from 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 market, or sometimes we we use electricity. But always electricity is is fell down, cutting. And vegetable every day we have to go to market. And then we take you know thirty minutes one hour cooking, and then we we are thinking, oh my God, too much endeavor. Always we have to use rickshaw. You know, go by you know water, vegetable, rice, milk. So we become big, but you know, big headache. But Jiva is not giving. No, they are giving, but uh, you know, sometimes we take, but sometimes we we make own. So it takes so much endeavor. You know, it's not waste. It's not like Japan. So Guru Dev is saying that we experience. So therefore, we came and stay. All the way plus out there, what kind of mercy? We can save so much time, so much power, so much money. This is my honest experience, you know. I think someone who cook by himself here, all knows. Especially even water also not so easy to bring, you know. Was a market, so that is my honest feeling. But right, understand English. Yes, yes, yes. It's not mercy without doing that thing. I got it. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Yes, we we had some internet problems. Thank you. Yeah, the power of prashad. And you see how natural it was when you explain your journey to Jamdahar. There was fifty percent. You speak about uh, uh, people from Jamdahar. They giving so much uh, prashad. Invite you. <laughs> this yeah. is a culture. And. Uh, even it's it's maybe not uh, uh, prashad from uh, Radha Mohan, but this is uh, the main thing for us that we get Radha Mohan prashad, right? Yes, and actually we are not all only eating food, but actually we are eating love. Ah, you that's know, so because they want to, they want to give us love. So we have to accept, you know. This is our honest feeling, you know. Sometimes yeah. we, you know, we eat first time, you know. Sometimes we are a little bit, you know, full, you know. But still, you know, they are offering food, you know. So wow. we are, we are, you know, accept, you know, by their love, you know. That is we are feeling, you know. We felt. This is rasa. <laughs> yes. Jai Ho. Jai Jai. 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 Jai J